Drafts is also an excellent way to get text into Evernote. I'm going to go ahead and open up Drafts and tap on the Settings button in the lower right corner. The first thing we're going to do is connect the Drafts application to Evernote. So I'll scroll down in the Settings until I see Configure Accounts, and I'll tap on that. And then I'm going to tap on the Link button next to Evernote. Once I tap that, it's going to go over to Evernote and ask me to authorize it, which I will do. And then it'll jump back to Drafts. And you can see that Evernote is now linked to Drafts. So let's do something with that. First, I'll add some text. Once I'm done, I can tap on the Drafts Action button in the upper right corner. And then you can see I've got some Evernote actions built in. Before activating it, I want to show you something. I'm going to slide this over, and I'm going to tap on the Edit button, which is this pencil. Once I've done that, that opens up the details of this action. And I can go ahead and tap on the step here. And that's the Evernote step, and I can go in and make some changes. And you'll note here where it says Notebook, I have added the word Drafts. And that's because I have a Drafts Notebook in Evernote, and I want everything to go to there. By default, this will go into the root directory, but if you want to put it into a notebook, this is where you save that. So I'll go ahead and save and go back out. Now that I've done that, you'll see I'm going to go ahead and tap Save to Evernote. And I just sent that draft to Evernote, so let's go see it. I'm going to back out of Drafts and then tap into Evernote. And I'm already in this Drafts notebook. I'll go ahead and tap on it, and you can see there's that new text file that I just created. Okay, let's have some more fun with Drafts in Evernote. I'm going to back out of the application and go back into Drafts. And I'm going to save that same note, but this time instead of as a single note in Evernote, I'm going to append it to the monthly journal. So I'll go ahead and tap that button right below. This function of appending to a text file is very useful. While in this example it's being used for a monthly journal, it could also be used for something like a grocery list or a list of things that you want to do when you get to Disneyland. It, appending text files is a great way to keep track of information. So I'm going to create another note. I do that by tapping on the plus button, and I've got a blank sh sheet here, and I'll write something out. Okay, I've got it saved. I'll go ahead and hit the action button, and again to append to monthly journal. Now when I back out of Drafts and go into Evernote, you're going to see that that journal is already in existence in my Drafts folder in Evernote. And if I tap on it, you're going to see there's both of those entries that I just created. But there's even more you can do with Drafts in Evernote. And that includes making to-do lists. Let's learn how to do that. So I'm going to go back into Drafts and open a new draft. And I'm going to call this Groceries. And I'm going to say Bananas, Apples, and Grapes. So now I'll hit the Drafts Action button and say, I will save this to Evernote as to-dos. When I go back out and then back into Evernote, and again, you'll see a new list has appeared in my Drafts folder, and it's my groceries list, and it has even put little check boxes next to each one. If you're a Power Evernote user, you are going to love Drafts. Finally, if you're going to use Evernote with Drafts, I recommend going to the Agile Tortoise website and looking at the Drafts and Evernote integration guide. It was written by Brett Kelly, who's a really smart guy, knows a lot about Evernote, and gives you a lot of great tips about using Evernote with Drafts.